What's up everybody, Superdorks fan here, and uh, normally I only talk about new car news on Fridays in the weekly update, but uh, the Ford Focus RS that was just released today uh, is so exciting and there's so much to talk about with it that I decided to do its own separate video just for this car. So, first reason why it's exciting, it's a new Focus RS, and it's exciting for many reasons. First, it's going to be sold worldwide, which means we'll finally be getting it in America for the first time, which is amazing. Another awesome thing about it, we'll just go through some of the awesome specs, it's all-wheel drive, so it has dynamic torque vectoring, which means it can send uh, up to 70% of the power to the rear wheels, and it can send all of the power to each individual wheel if it needs to, which means that Ford says that this car can do power over steer drifts easily. Uh, and that's also because it's got a lot of power. They're saying over 315 horsepower here in America. Um, from the inside scoop, if you follow uh, on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, uh, you know, all the Super Dirks fan uh, social stuff, then you'll know that I got an inside scoop last night about this car and got some of the numbers and things like that. Um, so Ford's not officially saying exactly how much horsepower, but from what I've heard, it's going to be 330 horsepower is going to be the final number. Uh, and they're saying it's going to be uh, under 3,400 pounds. Again, not, conform not confirmed, but 3,400 pounds is uh, the number I'm hearing for the weight, which is really, really impressive. Also, another unofficial number that I've heard is that the price is going to be right under $38,000, and a fully loaded one will be under forty. dollars so uh, before everyone gets upset and says 37 grand for a Focus, remember that no one has a problem paying 35 grand for a hopped up STI, you know, hopped up Impreza. That's all the STI is. It's just a souped up Impreza and no one complains about that. So I think that, you know, for the extra two or $3,000 the Focus will be, it'll probably have more standard equipment than the STI will. Um, but if for nothing else, it's going to have more power than the STI and that alone to some people may be worth the extra money. Um, and so I'll talk more about the STI and how the Focus Focus RS will may, maybe influence the uh, upcoming STI, but um, so that's all good news. It's all very exciting, and um, you know the motor it's going to be using is the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, the same motor that's in the EcoBoost Mustang, like what I have, and um, they're saying that you know this one is slightly tweaked, so it has a slightly different turbo with a larger compressor, and it has a much larger intercooler, has a few uh, other in, you know internal engine upgrades as well. And um, it's going to be one heck of a performer. So if this motor is more stout and they're only getting an extra 20 horsepower out of it over the Mustang uh, engine, you know, the variant in the Mustang, then obviously you can tune this thing. I mean, because people have already tuned the Mustang EcoBoost to have over 400 pounds-feet of torque. So, I mean, you, you're looking at well over 400 pounds-feet of torque out of the Focus RS after it's tuned. And, I mean, even with, you know, 330 horsepower in the Focus RS with all-wheel drive, that thing is going to be a rocket. But a tuned one with over 400 pounds-feet of torque, that is a serious, serious rocket. I mean, I can't imagine the performance numbers that a tuned Focus RS is going to put down. But, um, you know, with all-wheel drive, it's going to have amazing grip and everything. And uh, it's just going to be mind-blowing. I think it's going to be an amazing car. It's going to be awesome uh, value for the money. And... Um, yeah, so just that car alone is the main reason why I'm excited about it, because it's going to be an amazing car. Um, and so some of the other stuff that I've been thinking about is because of all these things we know about the Focus RS and what it's going to be, um, I think that it's really going to help out the Subaru Durex STI in the fact that there's finally going to be good competition for the STI again, because... Uh, I mean, even though I drive a Mustang, I still am a Subaru WRX fan, and I love to see the STI grow and get even more impressive. Um, and, you know, as many of you know, the STI has the same engine in it that it's had for the past 10 years. I think that, you know, Subaru, there's been rumors that they've already been developing a hotter version of the WRX 2-liter uh, FA20 motor to put in the uh, STI here in a year or two. Um, I think this is definitely going to cement that need, that they're going to have to upgrade the power because you're going to have the focus for around the same money that's going to be fast than the STI most likely and um, so for that reason alone I think that it's going to produce a faster STI finally I think we'll finally get one with maybe 350 horsepower it'd be nice or at least match the focus at 330 um, so uh, that's one of the awesome things about it. another thing is because the focus RS is a four-door hatchback you, many people have still been begging and pleading for a WRX hatchback and an STI hatchback and Subaru hasn't done it yet and I don't know if they will but now since there's actually a competitive hatchback that's, you know, the same money, same performance or higher, 
Um, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be swayed to the Focus RS unless Subaru wises up and gives everyone what they want. So I'm hoping that we'll get a faster STI that will also come in a hatchback form so it will be a proper competitor to the Focus RS so that Subaru will minimize the amount of lost sales that they may get from people that are jumping ship from the Subaru over to the Focus RS. So I think it will produce a better Subaru as well. So um, I think that's another reason as a Subaru WX fan to be excited. Um, so everyone wins. Even if you don't like the Focus RS for whatever reason, if you don't like the way it looks or you don't like Ford or whatever, it'll give us a better Subaru and I think there'll be other cars that will also get the effects of this increased competition as well. And I mean competition helps everyone out. That's how we all get better is by competing against each other. So um, you know I think that's going to definitely be uh, you know something that's going to be promising uh, for the car world in general. And um, another thing that's uh, going to be exciting, especially for me in particular, is because it's the same motor as the Mustang EcoBoost, um, it's, even though it's you know, been slightly upgraded, the good thing is those upgrades will hopefully be very easy bolt-ons onto the Mustang. So that nicer turbo in the RS, the uh, advanced cylinder head, I think it's alloy and it's very advanced in the Focus RS, hopefully that would be an easy swap onto the Mustang EcoBoost. And, um, I think it's just going to help with the extra development. And on top of that, uh, Raj Nair, uh, one of the big development guys for all the Ford Performance products, he said that uh, the Focus RS is going to sound like a, it's going to have the signature RS sound with lots of crackling and burbling and stuff like that. And uh, if you've ever looked up what any RSs sound like, if you've ever heard one in person, they're amazing. Uh, they sound so awesome and so it's very exciting to hear that you know this new RS is going to sound like that because a lot of people have said that this new EcoBoost motor in the Mustang doesn't really sound that great and it's hard to make it sound good. Even lots of these exhaust systems kind of make it sound ricey and things like that. So I think that you know with the knowledge gained from the Focus RS and how its exhaust system is set up, which by the way in the RS it's going to have an active um, cutout kind of thing in it, so it's going to you know open up and get louder. But they said it's also going to close up whenever the down, whenever the back pressure is needed, so that it uh, still runs very strong and um, also sounds really good. So. Um, Hopefully the knowledge gained from that will spread over to the Mustang. And while we're talking about the Mustang, you know, Ford has promised tons of performance products up through 2020. So, I mean, there's lots of stuff. So, you know, the Focus RS is just, it's just joining, you know, the Shelby GT350, the 350R, and the Ford GT, the new, uh, you know, SVT, um, Raptor and on top of that, you know, people are thinking that there will probably be a Fiesta RS coming eventually as well plus the new Shelby GT500 and maybe all these goodies from the RS will just come onto the Mustang. Maybe a Mustang EcoBoost RS for those that, you know, love the f idea of a four-cylinder Mustang and don't want the GT with its V8 and want a higher performing version of the EcoBoost maybe that will be an option as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Ford made a Mustang ST or a Mustang RS. I think that would be actually really sick. Um, so, like I said, all these things are spreading over and you know, it'll affect the car world in many different ways. And I think it's re you know, really exciting because I know, I mean, Subaru definitely improved the new STI for 2015 with giving it much better handling and a much nicer interior, but it still really had no competition. So it didn't get anything new with the engine or anything. And that's because Mitsubishi hasn't updated the Evo since 2008. And so there's really no need to make it any faster if you're already right up there with all the competition. So hopefully now with fresh competition with the Focus RS, it's going to be faster. Hopefully that will uh, encourage Subaru to make an even more aggressive STI. And uh, like I said, it'll spread over to other Ford products and everything else. All kinds of good stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think about the Focus RS and uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, like I said, I, I think it's an absolute grand slam and uh, I cannot wait to hopefully drive one one day uh, and you know check them out. They're going to be amazing, I'm sure. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Take care.